Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rune here back with another Borderlands 3 build video and today I'll be going over my non-DLC Zane build called Three Tree ASE. This build is peak non-purple tree Zane that uses guns and allows you to use action skill and annoyance as well as kill skill up the without seeing dead. Since not everyone has season pass 1, I focus on doing no DLC instead of no season pass 2. Season pass 1 has a lot of strong gear that can be added to make this build even stronger. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The save file will be found in my discord which is linked down below and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright and for the gear here you're going to want to look for any strong weapon and want to get ASE next to mags. I usually go with next to mags corrosive just because it's a common health bar that you see in Borderlands 3 but having multiple ASCs is not bad. You have ASE shock, ASE fire. You can do ASE matching with guns that can match elements. Just an example, random weapon smog. You could have uh, next to max corrosive with a corrosive smog, or you could have corrosive with next to max shock, or you could have like shock with next to max shock or shock with next to max corrosive, just any Thing that works good for you we have the crit here this is one of my go-to weapons very very strong weapon here then we have the hell shock this is just really good here and one of the better pistols i've got the rowan's call the ricochets are splash which is really really nice um and then i also really like the multi-tap here as well as the needle gun the dna the opq system is really really good here i can't remember how much i messed with the no pew pew but it's a really good gun trevenator this is a splash gun so you can go ac splash and we have a bunch of launchers here for ac splash as well the sandhawk in semi-auto mode is fun at the very least not a one like only use this gun but can be used in certain places and as well as bossing kibsworth is also really good here um i just prefer the crit smog and redistributor i don't remember the last time i've used these on this build but i'm sure it works well yeah just a lot of good guns and just experiment with what you can here uh so yeah just next to mags and ac splash when possible and then for the shield you have generally two options we have the frozen heart and the band of sidrak so how this build works with the ASC getting ASCs is with blowing up clone and we're going to do that with comco collected clone's going to die instantly or hopefully instantly and then we'll have ccc going to get back our clone and then keep having that going and with that you're going to want to make sure your shield is full as well as freezing enemies now you can just freeze with your guns with either cryo guns or dexy mags or asc cryo or just brain freeze whatever way you want to go and with that um you could also go frozen heart which i like to do but a little bit harder to keep your shields full so it is a bit like more paying attention and moving around than the band of sidrak which easily keeps your shield up which is really good both work incredibly well here so definitely both are worth it i prefer the frozen heart because when you play it right it is faster cycling which is just really fun you just kind of want to go any good asc element um, nothing specific i usually like to have asc cryo and asc rad cryo just to have a source of cryo damage to help with freezing and then rad for rad explosions uh, and then for the grenade this must have is the burning summit if you don't know where to get this i think you can look it up on loot lemon um it has to do with that tyrene mission you get the sell out from uh, you can farm this you do want this at max level and it's a one-time item per character um so you want to make sure you get this at mayhem 10 on max level and i'd probably make sure it has radiation on one of these two um just because rad explosions are really nice now this is what clone is going to throw to blow itself up because when you throw it it will do put a puddle on you it's part of the reference where summit 1g threw a game from throwing a uh molotov or whatever um, at him and so that's what it does it's just a reference to that you throw it and clone should instantly blow itself up via fractal frags um, because 
when it's spawned, it throws a grenade. So you're gonna wanna make sure that clone is near an enemy when doing this. Incredibly fun and what makes this build possible, or at least very possible. And then for the class mod, um, my two favorite ones are the Antifreeze and Executor. I found the Executor in general to be better unless there's not an easy to hit crit spot. Um, Executor just has really good skill rolls that are easy to get. The legendary effect is amazing with the crit damage, hitting cryo boost, accuracy and handling, status effect chance, which should go into cryo efficiency. So just really good. And then you just wanna worry about the bottom rolls only when farming. And the main thing I'd look out for is some weapon type damage, which is like this pistol damage here or SMG, heavy sniper, shotgun, any of that. And then splash damage radius is really good for increasing the size of red explosions and hollow point which is a guardian rank skill which when you crit kill an enemy it does a huge explosion it gets a bunch of formula that does insane damage so increasing that splash radius is really good for it and then weapon damage crit damage manufacturer crit i just had splash damage to be consistent with things even though i ended up not using too many splash guns just because if I wanted to be more specific, I would be way too, way too many class mods. Same with antifreeze, but you want to focus violent momentum. It can be a pain to farm. There are purple violent momentum class mods, which would be nice. Infiltrator, I would not go on this because it breaks your shield, which is a shame. It doesn't really work on here, but it's whatever. Um, maybe you could use it with the band of Sidrak. Maybe you can make it work, but not really worth it. So Executor is just easier farm, but I do really like having an anti-freeze with a uh, launcher. Bossing in general is really nice with it. Um, so just keep that in mind. Probably more important to have crit damage here if you do use anti-freeze as a main weapon because you don't really get crit damage elsewhere unless you use barrier crit. You'd much rather want to use a next two mags for better damage. That's the main pass to look out for. And then the uh, Icebreaker Victory Rush is very good i'd probably prioritize the icebreaker part over the victory rush so even a purple could be good um victory rush it gives amazing damage to v1 damage and movement speed um so still very important the main things i'd look out for is weapon type damage which is the pistol smg and area of effect damage in the second or third slot this will give splash damage and area of effect radius weight in the second or third slot which again with the splash radius and class mode amazing for um red explosions and hollow point and then other things to look out for is elemental damage so cryo corrosive shock fire all that mag size is really good yeah i'd say those are the main things there and then a snowdrift victory rush is really good for bossing i one with heavy aoe and mag size max damage would be having elemental instead of mag size but i really love mag size Oh, also movement speed's really good here for the what's its face, uh, violent momentum. Movement speed can also be nice, but I really like these types of passives here. All right, and for the skill tree, we'll start off with blue tree. Pretty generic skill tree. Uh, we have five violent momentum for the hundreds of possible gun damage, violent speed to boost violent momentum, salvation, you only need one point in life steal. We'll constantly be having these skill skills up. Cool hand for the reload speed and then seeing dead here. Just put a mix of playing dirty and violent violence and cool hand to whatever you like i really like having a lot in violent violence i ended up just putting four in each but it's whatever you prefer i do like having at least one point here for launchers but that's usually with no dlc or with full dlc so with no dlc even though we are able to spam kill skills probably put at least two or three even for like bossing but it also just really depends on the weapon you're using here and then we have three points in good misfortune one or three points three points can be good since we're using ccc we don't need as many i have three from the class mod here so i went less in good misfortune um and then dust falls close is really good because it boosts all our kill skills in here as well as violent momentum violent momentum doesn't say it but it does grant or does benefit from kill skill bonus which is just insane and then with the red tree here, we are pretty much just going down here to get old you and super sonic man. We go three pre five borrowed time, one duct tape mod, 
Now, duct tape mod is weird here. It does protect you from your grenades, from non-elemental grenades, and from your splash damage, but it does give a chance for you to throw a burning summit on you, which can break your shield and then make it harder to CCC. It's all very weird. So this is flexible. You would just have to pay attention more to when you're using slash guns to make sure you don't hit yourself. Donnybrook is here for the gun damage and health regen. Since we technically move slower than like a full DLC Zane build because of a lot of things, this gun damage is still pretty decent as well, like if we're not able to move as fast in certain areas, but the health regen is also just great survivability. Fractal Frags, again, this is what Clone is blowing itself up with. It throws a grenade, dies and then we freeze an enemy while our health and shield is full and then um, we get clone back spawn clone frozen burning summit it ends either freezes an enemy or refreeze an enemy and just rinse and repeat we skip quick free there because clones can recharge and restore health now it can be nice for us restoring health but it's really counterintuitive so i just don't take it um old you is great for if we go down and clone is still up we can quickly activate it and we get right back up which also activates our asc anoints um and then two points in supersonic man this boost in speed will be very nice in for boosting momentum we'll usually only have one stack though since we have barrier active all the time and then digi clones just active for a little bit since we're constantly cycling it but still very worth it and we're down here anyways and then the green tree we go all the way to capstone which is like never happening i feel like i'm taking crazy pills so first we have ready for action you really want the health recharge rate and recharge delay um, brain freeze here for freezing enemies especially when not having any asc or any cryo going so very important here and also just helps even with that um, stiff upper lip i just kind of took because i didn't really need adrenaline because we already have plenty of action skill cooldown from calm cool collected and then rise to, uh to the occasion for health regen to help get us back up very strong health regen I took distributed denial because why not? I don't think it's really helping anywhere. Since we're picking up barrier, the frozen heart will spawn below our feet when barrier ends. Very weird how distributed denial works, so that doesn't make sense. It really doesn't matter. It can help, but not really. Just It's just a one-pointer to me as well. Really expensive jacket. I love the skill. Uh, it cuts status effect duration in half, which is just great zing survivability calm cool collected freezing an enemy recharges our shield health and if those are full action skill cooldown and duration which will get back clone um nerves of steel i really like taking for the accuracy and handling just really nice quality of life and then confident confidence is great for accuracy and some decent gun damage no dlc zane does have lower gun damage if you're not going at as much into movement speed uh, which we don't really have as much here so still having some other sources of gun damage can be nice i haven't tested too much in it um, but that's just something to keep in mind and then we use mayhem modifiers no dlc zane loves mayhem modifiers the demon is amazing um, i did just talk about not having as much movement speed but we do have it in speed demon which means we get more violent momentum damage. Uh, so we have the mayhem modifiers here to help us. As well as Healy Avenger and Drone Ranger, helping us get second wins when in fight for your life, which Zane can struggle with if you're not built for fight for your life. Um, so we use this as a tool. And then postmortem is just the best option here. It can be pretty easy to dodge postmortem if you just keep two up, no more can spawn. And you can just keep dodging those two and it's pretty easy. Or you can just kill them when they spawn. I've done Mayhem 11, and this is definitely not a build where I would want to stay at Mayhem 11. Even though it can take a long time to get these rolls, it is most definitely worth it. 
All right, and for the skills, first off, we'll just go with barrier here. You can use drone here, but it can be a bit weird, a lot harder. Uh, with drone, you'd go static field and bad dose, which can be really fun. Very helpful and could possibly be more damage. I never mapped it out, but uh, you just replace that with barrier. But here we would go all rounder to protect ourselves and then turn shield just helps protect us even more because then melee enemies are less likely to be able to hit us. And then for Digiclone, you can either go which one's real or Shadow Feud. I like to go this one because it helps restore our shields, which is better in my opinion, as well since clone isn't really active much for which one's real. Um, and then Doppelbanger, just in case clone can't blow itself up for some reason, then you can blow it up manually. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. Comco Collected is super useful for no fourth tree Zane, but only because of the large amount of skill points we have in Borderlands 3. This build takes a lot more thought, which you don't see as much on Zane with full DLC, so it's even more enjoyable to me. Again, you can find the save file in my Discord, which is linked down below, as well as my other socials. If you have it, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.